That's Ryan about you. Uh, to come back in the lineup to have the impact you had and, and to make the one catch that I'm still not sure was how you did that. What was it like for you out there tonight? Man, it was it was honestly uh, just a really crazy experience. You know, there's been a lot of a lot of trials and tribulations that uh, you know I've had to go through to get to this point. But just being able to go out there and play with my team and one of the best teams in the country, uh, you know, it's a great experience. To get the Iron Buckeye, to get the all the offseason accolades, to be recognized by your coaches through the offseason, but to finally get on the field and be able to just do it, uh, how, how satisfying for you is that on a personal level? Um, it is satisfying, but you know sometimes you just can't be sad. Uh, you know, fully satisfied. You got to keep looking for that that little extra thing, that little extra thing to get better at, that little extra thing to improve on. So, you know, I'm still looking to improve uh, on and off the field in every aspect of the game. What did tweet? Is that something you knew that you were dealing with? Yeah, it kind of happened out of nowhere, and uh, it was just kind of it was unexpected. It was. You know, there's nothing I really do to prevent it. So from just uh, from that time until now, it's just been a lot of rehab and a lot of taking care of my body the best I can. No, sir. I had to be really frustrated. You've come back so much. Some of the things were recurring, I guess. Um, it was, it, it ripped me apart a little bit at first, but, uh, you know, just being able to talk to some of my teammates, think about some of my teammates that have been through so many, so many things and have been able to come back, um, it kind of kept me at a positive head and, you know, just to think that, you know, there's so many other things in the world that could really be happening, you know, I'm, I'm complaining about a little tweak, so, you know, I just had to take it on the chest, come up with a positive attitude, uh, you know, help my teammate, teammates out as much as possible, and, uh, you know, just get the treatment that I needed. What are your unique to yourself on a night like tonight to actually get on the field? You know, all of your teammates and coaches have kept saying, you're going to do it. How much did how much did you need to kind of get on the field to do it? Nah, I, I definitely needed it. You know, it's been, it feels like it's been forever since I've played football. Like, I, I was talking to my friends even in the locker room. I'm like, man, it feels weird to have these pads on with the jersey and everything. So it was definitely a confidence boost for me uh, as it was for the rest of the team. But now we're on to the next week. What are you most proud of? Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure. Co I, I, I'm confident. Yeah, I, th I think I caught it. Watch, how many times are you going to watch the replay to make sure? I haven't even watched it yet, so I'm going to I'm gonna have to watch it. But I think I caught it. Yes, sir. What are you most proud of on a night like tonight? Honestly, just the team as a whole. Um, you know, we were in a, talking before the game about dominating them the entire game. And, uh, you know, we, we've come out slow the past couple weeks, so that was another challenge to be able to come out fast and dominate the team the whole game. So just seeing how the offense did that in every aspect of the game and the defense came out and did it as well in every aspect of the game. It was just, I feel like it just brings the team closer as a whole. And uh, I feel like it's just uh, another stepping stone for us. I, mean, I know the results were in the right direction tonight compared to the last couple weeks, but how, how different from an execution perspective, like how close were you guys week one and week two to, to putting up a performance like this one? Um, that's a tough question. I, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's, it's kind of like building blocks. Like week one was down here. Uh, week two, we're up here. Week three, we're here. And I think week four, as we continue to go, you should be playing your best football in the postseason. So I think as long as we keep just, you know, constantly building and building and relying on each other and having confidence in each other, we'll be, we'll be a great team at the end of the year. What do you think it was that clicked so well for the offense tonight? Honestly, it, it was a great week of practice. It was probably the best week of practice we've had. It was the most confidence we had in each other. Our, our game plan was was very concise. It was perfect. And um, I feel like we just came out and we executed very, very well. So.